So we have the basics of permutation and combination. Now. What is permutation and combination? As I told, permutation is nothing but arrangement of certain number of items. Arrangement of R items out of N items. It could be an example of your selecting out of the five vowels. You've, out of the five vowels, A, E, I, O, U, you're selecting any two. Now, you could select A and D or E and I, O and U, A and U, any two out of the five vowels. Now, once you selected two out of those five vowels, that part becomes combination. Now, you need to arrange them in various possibilities. So, what are the various possibilities of arranging the two vowels out of five? What are the various possibilities? So, that becomes permutation and just selecting it, selection is combination. When we'll understand, of course, I just gave you a hint of the difference between permutation versus combination, but we'll move into the further nuances of permutation. What is the difference between permutation and combination? What are the ways in which, when do we understand, how do we understand when to use the permutation concept and when we need to use the combination concept? Then you have, you'll be taking up some real examples about a few seven to eight of them to understand whether test of permutation or combination. Now here, there is something which I would like you to do, which have been, I would like you to say is sometimes during the presentation, I might ask you a particular question. It, if while writing it or maybe while orally, it would be nice if you pause the video and try to answer that question and then restart the video so that to check whether what you said was right or wrong. So we will be coming across all such cases. So that is test of permutation or combination, which is extremely important. It is only because when whenever you're going to be examined or you appear for an examination it is not going to come as a package okay this is a question on permutation you need to do it this way nor is it going to be told this is from exercise 7b or 7c so you know in a particular situation where all the similar kind of questions are put together only you know to you understand yes it's a permutation or a combination now the bottom the basic concepts will be thorough your mastery will be seen when a given particular problem is is presented you should be able to understand whether this is a permutation or a combination so that we could carry forward and apply the suitable formula. Then uh, we will be understanding the concept of factorial, what it means by factorial. In fact, we will be starting with factorial concepts. Then the formula of permutation and combination and the various types of possibilities. And then you have the rule of counting, which means you should understand the difference between and versus or what this means. So or means you have either one possibility or the other possibilities and means when two things occur simultaneously, particular thing takes place as well as another one takes place. What is the mathematical binary operation which could be used when you have an and situation and when you have an or situation. So this is basically what we'll be covering in this particular big concept or big topic about permutation and combination. So let's move ahead.